to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord have mercy. Say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not render an unjust judgment. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great. With justice you shall judge your neighbor. 
You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not profit by the blood of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate in your heart any one of your kin. You shall reprove your neighbor, or you will incur guilt yourself. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of the, your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us recite the psalm responsibly, alternating verses. Happy are they who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seats of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither. Everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand upright when judgment comes, nor the sinner in the counsel of the righteous. For the, the Lord, Lord knows the way, way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked is doomed. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. You yourselves know, brothers and sisters, that our coming to you was not in vain. But though we had already suffered and been shamefully mistreated at Philippi, as you know, we had courage in our God to declare to you the gospel of God in spite of great opposition. For our appeal does not spring from deceit or impure motives or trickery. But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the message of the gospel, even so we speak, not to please mortals, but to please God who tests our hearts. As you know, and as God is our witness, we never came with words of flattery or with a pretext or greed, nor did we seek praise from mortals, whether from you or from others though we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle among you, like a nurse tenderly caring for her own children. So deeply do we care for you that we are determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but also our own selves, because you have become very dear to us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh uh... commandments hang all the law and the prophets. 
Now, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them this question. What do you think of the Messiah? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, How is it then that David, by the Spirit, calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David thus calls him Lord, how can he be his son? No one was able to give him an answer, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the living God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So, I would hazard a guess, with all this talk about love, that Hallmark wasn't around in the days of Jesus, let alone in the days of Moses, when our first reading was written from the book of Le Leviticus. And yet, we, in our capacity today, hear all this talk about love, and we get a little squishy, but biblical love was far from that. It is more to do with sacrifice. Putting another first. Sacrificial love. And if sacrificial love doesn't capture what Jesus is all about, then I think my years in seminary were wasted put others first. And that's what Jesus did. He put the people first. He put us first. He endured great hardship so that others may have a relationship with the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, that's sacrificial love. And we are called to that kind of love as well. Putting God first and God's creation and Jesus ties them integrally together. And by God's creation, I mean that word, neighbor. And who is our neighbor? Now, it was easy for Moses to talk about neighbors because it was a homogeneous society. You were probably related to your neighbor. So it wasn't so difficult to be nice to your neighbor. I know, I know we've all got relatives that may be our neighbors, and it's hard to be nice to them. But when push comes to shove, we support our family members. But Jesus is taking it up to another level. And much of his teaching explains who the neighbor is. Now, not in the Gospel of Matthew, which we have today, but in the Gospel of Luke, we encounter the Good Samaritan. And that is the parable that Jesus tells in response to the question, but Lord, who is my neighbor? Our neighbor is anyone in need. And who is in need? And do we get to be picky about that? Jesus says no. So this self-sacrifice, this sacrificial love that we are called to live as disciples of Jesus, cannot be selective. Now obviously, we don't have an unlimited source, so we can't squander it completely. As I will remind parishioners every time I have a chance. There is a line from a, uh, I don't know, a media figure, let's say. His name is RuPaul. In one, every episode of his show, he says, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else? So when we talk about this sacrificial love, it also means caring for yourself. Because if we don't care for ourselves, we can't care for others. Many people have to be reminded of that. But more to the point, our neighbors. Our neighbors may not look like us. They may not sound like us. They may not even vote like us. 
but they're our neighbors. And we are called to seek their well-being, their flourishment, that they may achieve their potential as God's children. Now, that is a huge task, huge. And that's why we do it as a community, banding together to create more possibilities so that people may flourish, accounting for the lack of opportunity that may have come their way. We band together to try to provide more opportunity. That's what Christians do. Now, some people like to operate through the government. That's fine. And other people like to do it privately. That's fine. That's why you have different political perspectives. But the bottom line is we are called, as Christians, to create opportunities so people may thrive and achieve their potential. That is what love is about. Putting others before ourselves. It's not just about me. It's not just about you. We've all outgrown that, hopefully, where we think the world revolves around us. And if we haven't, there's still time. So, when we think of our call to serve Jesus, and we think of our neighbors, we have to think of the ones that we don't chum around with, that we may not agree with, but we still want them to thrive as God's children. We're all called to this task, and it's a mighty one. But let's do it together. Amen. Amen. Let us stand now and reaffirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed found in your program. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. For the prayers of the people, we will be using Form 6. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work. For our families, friends, and neighbors, and those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace for the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For all who proclaim the gospel and all who receive the truth. 
for Michael, our presiding bishop, for Alan and Gail, our bishops, for Walter, our priest, and for all bishops and other ministers. For all who serve God in Christ's church. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, remembering Bill Hurst, Mary Lou Morrison, Rick Nastari, Greg Taylor, Joe Brown, Danny Sharif, Martin Corbin, Joan Kramer, Irma and Manuel, Barbara Murphy, Bill Moore, James Grady Fielding, Mike Monahan, Robert, Raymond, Bill Philip Moody, Daniel Barnaby, Ray, Wayne Royer, Jennifer Novia, Dan Paspari, Barbara Long, Liam Hood, Peggy Smith, Chris Wells, Bob Marino, Jack Blaze, Claire D. Dominicus, Robert Castle, Rose Davin, Kay and Frank Valeri, Julie Murphy, MJ Perk, and Liz Sorrentino. For these and all those whom we hold in our hearts before you this day, hear us, Lord. May your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. And, and praise, praise your name, name forever and ever. Remembering Veronica St. Ong and Jackie Mishner, we pray for all who have died that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them. Who put their trust in you. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. Please be seated for our brief announcements. So uh, for the month of October, we have been collecting for Pine Street Inn. There is a long history of the parish with the work of Pine Street. Um, and as a recognition of that legacy, we have been collecting our traditional in pew collection will be devoted for the month of October to Pine Street. So obviously those of you watching on television are like, well, how do I do that? Well, you can go online, and we have the feature uh, there to do that. Um, you can always mail it in, just make sure it's noted Pine Street, and we will um, send it over accordingly. And if you come on Sunday, you can always leave it in the plate as well. There are special envelopes at the entranceway for that. So, do we have any other announcements, Carol? Snowflake Fair is, has been modified um, for our new normal, and we are sending out raffle tickets. We are still going to hold our traditional raffle, um, which consists, the prizes I believe are all for grocery stores, seeing as restaurants during the winter are a little questionable for this year. Um, I think there's also a wine offering in the raffles, and we will also be offering our uh, lobster lunches and the extra brownies like we did last time. I heard there's a rumor of quiches. And there may well be quiches as well. We're, we're not positive about that just yet, but we're hoping for it, and these are all planned to take place on our traditional Snowflake Fair Saturday, which is the first Saturday in December. All right. So, so much for announcements. <laughs> Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of heaven. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. May the Lord accept our sacrifice of thanksgiving for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all Christ's holy church. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving today with special intention for the repose of Veronica St. Ange and Jackie Mishner. And our worship this Sunday continues with Eucharistic Prayer 3 from the Anglican Church of Australia. The Lord be with you. And also, also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our salvation that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, almighty and everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. For he is the true high priest who has freed us from our sins and made us a royal priesthood to serve you, our God and Father. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim our great, your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and light, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious God, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. Hear us, merciful Lord, through Christ, accept our sacrifice of praise, and by the power of your word and Holy Spirit, sanctify this bread and wine that we who share in this holy sacrament may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. For when his hour had come, on the night before he went up to the cross to make full atonement for the sins of the whole world, offering once for all his one sacrifice of himself, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, in obedience to his command, we commemorate and celebrate his saving passion and death, his mighty resurrection and ascension into heaven, and we eagerly await his coming again in glory. We thank you that by your grace alone you have accepted us in Christ. And here we offer you a spiritual sacrifice holy and acceptable in your sight. Through Christ receive this, our duty and service, and grant that we who eat and drink these holy gifts may by your Holy Spirit be one body in Christ and serve you in unity and peace. In your grace and mercy bring us to the joy of your eternal kingdom with all the company of the redeemed. May we praise you in union with them, and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
<clears throat> Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, gracious Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah.
us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, Send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you, as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Life is indeed short, and we have so little time to gladden the hearts of those who traveled away with us. So be swift to love, and hasten to be kind. And the blessing of our gracious God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.